Now this is very unexpected. <laughs> I'm not gonna cut them. I just so happened to look at my second TV over here, right? I was gonna bring up the little crypto stuff, you know what I'm saying? Cause crypto blowing out the water, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the case may be, but I see Dodge uh, the next day. Let's get into it. We ain't gonna waste no time, man. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Hey, Dodge. Let's get it. You know, hope y'all heard me. Friend, is that we always get to where we're going without ever forgetting where we've been. The miles under our belts, the 100 plus years of know how and swagger fuels us with the highest octane, gives us the greatest charge. Wait a minute, what, what the heck was that? What was that? 100 plus years of know how and swagger. going just. Whoa. That's a big screen. That's a big screen. Oh, yeah. Swagger fuels us with the highest octane, yeah. gives us the greatest charge, and always will.
name became known for standout design and performance. The name Dodge, your name, 100 years from now, has become synonymous with baddest, quickest, fastest. Dodge is. But right now, we're under attack. Your legacy is under attack. We need to run, spiritually, of course, to fight the system, not to comply, but to compete. Because regardless of what kind of power that propels us, this brand must always be pushed forward by the energy and attitude you guys instilled in us. This next generation charger is proof of that. It's fueled by the Brotherhood, but powered by lithium. The elixir? No, 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 no. We did the car that runs on alcohol last year. I'm talking about batteries driving electric drive motors to deliver instant torque to all four wheels. The combination is going to redefine what it means to never lift and push the performance of this new Dodge Muscle car beyond any conventional no prep muscle car. <laughs> Most people think electric cars are supposed to save the planet. Electric cars are supposed to be green and politically correct. So this thing must be super efficient and environmentally friendly, right? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. But that's <laughs> never the point. The point was that they told us we couldn't sell That's funny. Maybe. It needs to be on the side. But they never told us that we had to be boring and slow. So we took the rules, found the gray areas, and used them. Used them against them to build a muscle car. To build a Dodge muscle car. And slide it under the wire that the regulators threw down in front of us like spike strips on the highway. Look, everything that is cool about this car... From the far wing design, it doesn't look like a typical battery electric melted jelly bean. To the 325 rear tires, to the E-Rep transmission. 325? And most importantly, the ultra okay, okay. high performance 550 kilowatt discharge rate. All work together to ensure maximum acceleration, but for efficiency. And normally you would never do things like that. But when was the last time anyone calculated the fuel economy of their muscle car? Yeah, they never did. That's not why they bought it. And that's not why anyone will buy the new Charger Daytona. They're going to buy it because of the stunning stop you in your track styling and the segment redefining performance. The 400 volt scat pack Charger Daytona will put out over 670 horsepower and over 600 pound feet of instant torque transferred to a selectable all wheel drive system. Sheesh. It's going to out accelerate today's red eyed supercharged V8. And I'm not even talking about the 800 volt SRT Banshee system. Yeah. Look, the bottom line is this is not the electric car that they want the Brotherhood to have. This hey, is a this is wrong. This is an electric <laughs> muscle car that will make the rule makers, the suits, and the lawyers Ooh, wish they had. I like how the, the whole bottom is black down there. Mm -hmm, Cause you know it'd be dirty and stuff. And had a kale <laughs> smoothie for lunch when they launched this thing. What's a kale smoothie? Something nasty. I don't really know, but you don't want one. <laughs> what you will want is the Charger Daytona's game-changing interior. With more trick tech, it delivers best-in-class rear cargo space with a rear hatch and full flat seats. You're going to get muscle car design. Damn. It's the inside for me. What the heck? That's the arm button right there? That's it right there? Damn. And I know this guy, one of these got to be charger pad. It got to be. Look how it look. That's a big screen. Why ain't no screen on this side? Pussy. I like the flat, flat, flat bottom of both of those. I can't see if it's memory seats or not. Is this the button to open the door? Okay. Um, is there a heads up display? I can't even see if there's a heads up display. Now it's something right here, but I don't know what that is. Okay. All right, it's a speaker, speaker, speaker. So there might be a heads up display somewhere in Oh, if it is, oh my gosh. But, um, I need four doors. <laughs> and UV like cargo capacity. The thing is amazing. Like a, but what would be even good. better than a muscle suit <laughs> with UV capability and the functionality of a hat? That is fine. Well, easy. A four door with all that as well. Hey! Just when I said I need four doors, now you pull up more than four doors. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, the Charger Daytona will be available as a two door coupe yeah, four door. and the four door look better. I ain't gonna cap. The four door look hard. Now the four door look better. It look way better. It look bigger. You tell me I can I can put two baddies in the back. Anyways, Dan, <laughs> both with the same wide body stance that will put the passive. Nah, the four door look wider. Look at that thing, man. That thing look juicy right there. Or maybe it's the orange. It pop out. 
Man, that four don't call. On notice. And what else puts the passive oil on notice That's is funny. our Fretsonic chambered exhaust system. I just it said screams as loud as today's supercharged V8s. Whether you opt for the 496 horse RT or the 496. The 670 horse. Why do I even make those? Or <laughs> scat pack. Or later, mean? the SRT Banshee. Okay. Every charger carries the Dodge Torch when it comes to touching oh, that's pretty cool. all the senses. Adam seats look hard. Like some uh, spaceship seats. Look, I know most people don't know the history. They don't know that there actually were electric cars before gas cars. And don't know that you guys dedicated your lives to coming up with something better than battery electric vehicles over a hundred years ago. So you've got to be wondering. What do I buy it? Why we've come full <laughs> circle. Well, these electric oh, dodges too, are like too far. My bad. <laughs> time machines. They can take you back while launching you forward at the same time. This is more than a direct descendant of your origin story. It's a direct connection. To this what do I buy it? Spirit of the past while powering this brand into tomorrow. Oh, yeah. That wasn't the sound of the Fratsonic chamber in the Banshee. Okay. That was the scream of the most power dense internal combustion engine Dodge's ever installed in a muscle car. What the heck? That thing looked crazy. What's this one? It looked crazy. Why the front look like that? In 2025, the all new Charger will also be available as a six pack with the twin turbo Hurricane. Standard output hits the streets with 420 horsepower, and the HO spins the dyno to 550 yeah, horsepower. Nice. But these aren't old school engines. No, these Hurricanes embody everything that we've learned about piston power since the doors of the Dodd Brothers shop first swung open. Twin turbos that perform like they're constantly spooled. And a drive line that houses an eight speed transmission and an all-wheel drive system standard but it's a dodge so we also let you turn it off and tear it up like a traditional rear-wheel drive muscle car hmm. that's hard. this is what a brand can build oh, that's pretty cool and with the same there's three different ones what the heck when you're always building on a promise all right y'all see the difference let's look at the hoods for right now <laughs> for right now because this one definitely got Different type of thing. Okay, I'm sorry. To never lift. This is what happens when you work to deliver My never next before video, already again have, uh, and again. On this okay, is the right story now. of American ingenuity that <laughs> runs from right now straight back to your shop, which is where we need to go. Because you've got work to do. A legacy to cement. So to build the, a what's foundation the, what's the, what's the and a zero to the future. What's the zero sixty. What are we talking? What are they gonna tell us about it? All right, guys, the ride is over, but it's also just getting started. Ooh, it's so black in there, I like it. So thank you it's for this bloodline of ingenuity, for this brotherhood, for writing the source code for the... Well, you got, uh, auto lane keep or not? <laughs> These cars, <laughs> because it's not yet time for your legacy to go. It's go time for the next... You got massage seats? Man, hey man. Generation of Dodge. <sighs> Asking for too much. Sorry. I guess. I like to massage my back while I could probably some chasing me. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Look at that. Y'all let me know in the comment section. See y'all in the next one. Hold on, let me make sure that that's gonna pop up on the screen because sometimes they can pop up so little. All right, let's see. Okay. Then we gotta go find out what the zero to sixties is in real life. So, so now we gotta wait for some people to test it out. Unless we get a chance to test it, we get a chance to test it. I guess y'all gonna see a video. We're gonna go to Dodge. We ain't gonna let me do it. I see y'all. Peace.